With this Julius build, you can make him unstoppable. And what also makes him unbelievably broken is going to be his kit as well. As his skill one accelerating bullet is a single target skill with 95% of attack and magic attack as the, as the damage ratios. And what this will do, it will, it will inflict a 5% reduced mobility debuff on an enemy. Whilst also when he lands a crit, he will grant all of your allies a 5% increased mobility buff as well. So not only are you guaranteed to be able to reduce the mobility on some enemies, which is ridiculously powerful, it's really, really good. But you can also then increase your allies' mobility when you land crit. So when you're facing off against red characters, that'll be really easy to do. Then onto his skill 2, Distorted Time. This is an AoE skill 2 with a 3 time cooldown, and the damage ratios are 75% of attack and magic attack. And what this skill will do, it will have a 50% chance to inflict a time stop debuff on an enemy for 2 turns, whilst also granting himself an increased speed level of 3 buff for 1 turn. And what this time stop debuff does is, basically, whenever you land that debuff, you'll be able to increase the cooldown of a skill 2 by 1 turn, and then you'll be able to freeze it, so you can't get the reduction of cooldown on it, unless if it's from like a certain status effect or bonus that you might have on that character. And then finally his ultimate or special skill, Chronostasis is, is an unbelievably powerful ultimate as it will inflict a stun status element on an enemy for one turn and that is completely guaranteed by the way which is ridiculously powerful. And not only that he will in inflict a 20% reduced mobility debuff on an enemy as well whilst also being able to grant himself an extra turn whenever he kills an enemy with his special skill. And not to mention you can then also increase that 20% reduced mobility debuff all the way up to 30% as well which is unbelievably great whilst also increasing his damage by an absolute ton as well. And you can also increase his damage with his unique passive, which is going to basically say for every 15 speed he has, he'll grant himself an increased damage dealt buff of 3%. And every turn, he will then grant himself time accumulation, which is going to be a buff that can stack up to five times. And basically, this will increase the damage dealt by special skills by 10%. So you can get overall a 50% free damage dealt increase buff on your special skills, which is unbelievable. Honestly, it's so good. And then finally, his enhanced passive, which honestly just brings his whole kit and just his whole character together. It's so good, as basically, whenever he's defeated for the first time upon receiving damage in battle he will use the temporal reversal or whatever it's called and this will basically trigger one time during battle and can only be triggered once and basically what this will do it will restore it will basically revive him but with a state of 45% of his HP but once it's completely maxed out and you've got five dupes on him that'll be a hundred percent of his HP meaning to actually just get rid of this guy you've got to take him out twice and then the other way to make Julius unstoppable is with the right gear and stats and starting off because he's an attacker you're going to want to be able to do as much damage with this guy as you possibly possibly can, so the ominous gear set is going to be the one you're going to be looking for. As on the two set bonus, it'll give you a 7% increase in attack and magic attack, so it's just going to be a really, really high increase of damage. And to increase his damage even further, we're going to be using the ominous whip, as well as the ominous crystal, which will both have the magic attack main stat on them, so you can get the most out of all of your gear pieces. Seeker of the Deep Sea is the next gear set you're going to want to run on him to make him absolutely unbeatable, as speed is an unbelievably important stat in this game. So using the Conch of the Deep Sea, whilst using the Essence of the Deep Sea with magic attack main stats on both of those will then be able to grant you the two set bonus which will basically grant the wearer a five percent increased speed buff for two turns at the start of a wave and then at this point it doesn't necessarily matter what other kind of gears that you put on him as you're just going to want to basically do anything that's going to help increase his damage as anything like the nobles inheritance gear set would be great for the extra crit rate same goes for resolute judge for extra crit damage you could go for the nature's wonders set to get the extra penetration or you could go even go for the ancient mages relics to get some extra attack bonuses so then in terms of substats for this guy pretty much it's just the same thing is pretty much every dps character in this game increasing you, just your attack magic attack especially magic attack your crit rate crit damage are all going to be going to be fantastic stats and literally anything that can help him deal even more damage you'll probably take and that's pretty much it and then the next thing to make this guy unbelievably powerful is going to be his talents as uh, starting off with his attack talents the increased magic attack buff of seven percent is going to be unbelievable as considering his magic attack is much higher than his regular attack you're going to want to be able to use this so you can get as many damage bonuses as you can and then pairing this with battle frenzy is going to be even better better as well because then you can also give him even more crit rate as well to do even more damage and then for the carved stone slot just put anything to do with attack and magic psych will be great then moving on to defense talents the increased defense buff of 20 percent when paired up with the endurance one is going to be unbelievable to make him even more tankier and also gain some extra crit resistance and then for the carved stone slot just the flat defense increase is going to be the best for cc and stuff like that so you're going to want to go for that so finally we have the support talents and honestly you could literally use a pretty much a combination of one of these two sets as swiftness is always a fantastic thing to go for as it's guaranteed value getting your special points back when you have less than two but because of his skill two especially when once you get a skill page being able to reduce a bunch of the enemy stamina mage's blessing is also a really good choice as although it's only a 20 percent chance being able to reduce that, that skill two cooldown is going to be really really helpful so the support card stone slot is that you go for anything to that can increase his speed so then he can be as fast as he possibly can so then next up we have all of his best skill pages and of course his best in slot skill page is going to be his own the pride of the wizard king skill page is an unbelievable skill page as on 
on its passive skill, it would give a 10% increase in all attack buff, which is unbelievably good. But what's my favorite thing about this skill, as what I mentioned before, with his skill 2 being able to delete a bunch of enemy stamina and mobility, is that once you get this skill page, his skill 2 will also be able to inflict a complete mobility depletion debuff on a designated target. And then not only that, he will then have a 60% chance to then inflict a 10% reduced mobility debuff on all enemies except the designated target as well, which just makes him just so much better and an unbelievably annoying character to play against. Then we have Chief's Appearance. This is another fantastic skill page as the 3-12% in crit damage is unbelievably powerful. Then of course the free to play ca the Captain's Dignity is unbelievably powerful as well as getting that 2.5% increased crit rate buff at the end of an ally's turn is really really good. Scorching Grudge is another fantastic skill page for the 10% increase in all attack. Condemning Light is another really good one that you can use for the extra crit rate and attack percentage. And then you've also got Lion Spirit which also gives a really really high amount of all attack increases. And then for non-specific ones Breath of Darkness is a fantastic free to play one for you to use as it also gives a 10% increase in all attack and then mysterious ancient book is another fantastic one as it's just a free 12 percent damage increase so then next up what are going to be the best characters to pair him up with so of course we're gonna have julius in and he's going to be one of our main dps characters but also because noelle silver is also an unbelievable dps character and just an unbelievable character in general she's going to be a fantastic pairing for him radis is going to be fantastic especially when facing off against other juliuses as the status ailment immunity from his number one carl special skill is unbelievable and is also great for survivability in general if you want to be even more toxic you could run Mimosa Vermilion, as although Julius can also revive himself, you can also then resurrect him again with Mimosa if you wanted to do that. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because you don't need to, but it's just quite funny for you to do if you would like to. And then William Vengeance is actually a fantastic character for him, as considering his passive is based off of how much speed he has, he, he gets more damage, you can give him a massive speed increase with Vengeance to give him a bunch of extra damage. The same thing also applies with Finral, as Finral will also apply a level 3 speed buff increase, but also to your all of your allies as well, which is also fantastic. And then Valtus is also great because it will pretty much guarantee you to, to give yourself an edge over other Juliuses by giving your mobility buff with his special skill, Myriad Black. And then of course, Lotus is an unbelievable character because not only is he able to reduce speed of, of, of enemies, he can guarantee crits with his total, with his concentrated attack as well, whilst also make, giving them incapacitate and stuff like that. And then when paired up with Mars, that combo is just unbelievably powerful as well and is just honestly so good. So then finally, we have all of his skill level priorities. And let's start things off with this Chronostasis special skill. As for me, the most important ones that you want to level up that are going to be the ones that give obviously a lot of damage increases, but also give a bunch of other great things, such as his reduced mobility increases of up to 10% on his level 2 and level 4 of his special skill, Chronostasis. As also the increase of, of skill attack and magic attack is going to be really, really good, as it's going to allow you to proc that extra turn even more, which is going to be really, really good. And then I recommend his Distorted Time skill too, as the AoE damage of this is really, really high as well. His skill 1 accelerating bullet which will be the probably one, the third one that you want to level up as just the five percent increase in attack and magic attack on both of his damage ratios is going to be really really good as well so there you have it that is a complete guide to julius the wizard king in black clover mobile if you enjoyed this video or it helped you then don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below whether this video actually helped you or not and i will see you in the next video peace